Well, my goodness, Mr. Spider, you have very much taken liberties in my garden. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome to Yellow Door Urban Homestead. I am Asia and I'm an urban gardener growing in a small space in my backyard. So on this beautiful morning, it feels so good outside. We are going to pull out summer. We're going to pull out summer, y'all. Not all of summer because we're going to leave the peppers in the bags we're gonna leave those few tomatoes and tomato suckers that did work in the bags um but we're gonna pull out a lot of this summer stuff <laughs> so it is the second week of september and our temperatures are finally i was putting on my boots <laughs> are finally starting to shift so let me show you this is like the perfect week for this so if you can see we'll be in the 80s this week um, we have a little bit of rain but there are no 90s so it is my time to go ahead and get my fall stuff in you know I have some fall starts I had already purchased some um, and so we're gonna get some of those in today I hope <laughs> but we need to pull out the good thing is most of the beds that we're gonna plant for fall um, they're clear still need to be dug uh, and, and that took forever, just just so you know. <laughs> I'll be doing that on camera today. I will be doing it though. I will be doing it though. So we have one bed left and that was the one that I really didn't want to pull because it was doing so well, but I have to now. I don't have a choice, they have to come out. Um, and that's this bed right here. We're gonna go ahead and pull that today it has a lot of basil in it. it has some pepper plants marigolds we're gonna go ahead and pull those um pull this whole bed pull those cucumbers down i am leaving the cantaloupe for now i almost walked into that spider y'all <laughs> and i still need to dig this bed so we're going across it i i'm gonna knock that spider web down in a in a few minutes but i haven't yet oh my goodness the tomato plants well Yes, just the plants trying to take me out. <laughs> but I'm gonna leave this cantaloupe for now just because we have one that's almost ready. It hasn't fallen off the vine yet though. Um, and I need to probably tie something around it so when it is ready, it doesn't fall on the ground. But yeah, it hasn't detached from the vine. So I'm leaving that for my daughter. But as soon as that one comes off, I'm gonna pull it. There are a few small ones which I don't know it's not the same plant so i may pull this side leave this side let this last small one go um so that she can have cantaloupe this year mm, do best my best with cantaloupe this year i normally get nice size cantaloupe i don't know um it's a little shaded over there so that could be some of the problem i normally grow my cantaloupe on the trellis that the cucumbers are on but i didn't do that this year i was moving things around so let's just go ahead and get started y'all um oh look Look at this cute shirt somebody sent me it yesterday it says let's root for each other i thought it was the cutest thing it was on my wish list um and i thought it was so cute and i was like oh i'm wearing that in the video tomorrow <laughs> i thought it was so cute um yeah also the hornworms came in and they start eating everything y'all so we got a few potato plants over here that they ate of course you've seen the tomato plants they were even on the peppers at a point like they were just everywhere um i gave a lot of them to the chickens some of them the uh, wasp so if you do get hornworms there are parasitic wasps that will lay their eggs and they will essentially kill the hornworm and that did happen on a few it was the smaller ones that they got this year though um but it doesn't matter because summer is pretty much at its end so we can ready to get ready for fall anyway <laughs> we had a storm the other day and the roselle fell over um but it was producing roselle so i'm probably going to sit it back up and somehow stake it uh because it was producing roselle i'm going to probably harvest all of them that are over here 
Um, I, I've probably been saying that in every video. I'm going to harvest them. And I just haven't yet. <laughs> and then we have some long beans that I'm going to let go to seed. But they have a well ants and aphids Ooh, all over them. Um, but I'm probably still going to leave them, let them dry because I do want the seeds for these. And I think I could just pull them off and take them in the house and continue to let them dry. Um, but I'm not using that trellis for anything in fall, so I'm going to let those stay. We also need to do some harvesting because there are peppers and things that are ready to be harvested. Um, but I don't know if I'm going to get around to that today. But let's start pulling this pretty bed out. My last pretty bed, it's, it's got to go though. <laughs> Everybody keeps telling me that marigolds can be used like medicinally um, and so or even for tea something like that um, so I'm going to set these to the side because I also want the seed pods off of it so that's a part of what um, I'm gonna do this fall is make sure I save seeds that I can save um, the marigolds I'm, I'm gonna take them in the house and then I'm gonna do some research <laughs> The actual flowers. Should have brought a bag out here with me, but I didn't think about that until right now. And of course, we're pulling it straight out, not cutting it at the roots. But I am trying to get all the soil off of it so that, you know, that stays in the bed. So that's a basil plant. And I'm going to save this basil and take it in the house as well. So I'm gonna sit it somewhere where it's clean because other than that, it makes no sense. <laughs> That's a pepper plant. I'm gonna put that in the uh, compost pile. This is another pepper plant. Had a few peppers on it, so we're gonna take those in the house. Like this one will keep ripening in the house this one probably will too, cause it's blushing a little bit. Um, that one's blushing a little bit. This one may be too, so might've got lucky. <laughs> I'm not a fan of green peppers. No. <laughs> I literally just cut her wings. Look at her, do you, you see her right there? I literally just cut her wings. Her wings grow fast. <laughs> All right, we we gonna get back to work. <laughs> okay, so the larger portion of that bed is cleared. We're gonna go ahead, pull the cucumbers out. So I am not going to take my trellises down this year. This will be the first year I don't take the trellises down. Um, I'm just gonna leave them, plant my fall vegetables around them now. I'm not gonna cover this year either, <laughs> which I didn't do last year. Um, I just found it to be easier. And, and yes, I guess the vegetables were less stressed when I covered them because they had a little bit of, um, you know, the warmth was held in when I covered them, but I'm just not doing it this year. I don't want to. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get these cucumbers down. Gonna give the actual cucumbers to the chickens. They're very much overripe now. Look at this big guy right here. It was huge. It's turning yellow. It, I'm sure it's disgusting now, but the chickens will love it. Someone said that it like their cucumbers didn't do well, so it like really hurt them to see me give these to the chickens. Um, it's gonna end up giving back to the garden. Um, these again are very overripe, wouldn't taste well anyway. So they'll get a treat. And I made pickles and um, I know we're not gonna eat a whole bunch of pickles. And because I don't have a lot of space, I prefer to leave that space to can other things like more tomato sauce that we will eat. So yeah, the, these, are going, these are going to the ladies. <laughs> I'm gonna throw them over the thing now. I, I'll be right back. There are so many spider webs out here. Like, they're, they're everywhere. All right, I think that was all of them. We're gonna go ahead and 
pull these out too. There's a dahlia in this bed right here. I'm going to leave it just to give it some time. See if I could get a few more dahlias off of it. I think they are the prettiest little flowers. Oh yeah, those plants was dying. <laughs> dahlia might actually need to go. Half of the limbs are broken. Probably not going to get too much off of it now that I'm looking at it. Crazy how far the roots go away from the base of the plant. That's why spacing is important. Because while it's where you planted the plant, the roots will, will go all over. I'll probably uh, put this in the compost pile. I don't think there's anything the girls would really care for in this, but they got the good part, the cucumber. If, like I said, this bed was growing really good. So I'm gonna see how much roots are in here. This might not be one that I have to dig a lot. I would be happy if I didn't. Let's see. It's feeling like it is though. Yeah, I am gonna have to. Like I said, I'm not gonna do that on camera because it definitely takes a while. Yeah, I'm gonna have to dig it too. This would be the last time in my life that I have to dig it this much because like I said in the last video, I'm never cutting at the base again in my space that I have right now. But this doesn't <clears throat> seem to be super root bound. It just needs to be moved around. So yeah, not super root down, but there are roots in here. So yeah, we'll dig that later. Let's continue to pull what needs to be pulled, which I don't know that there's much else that needs to be pulled. Um, probably gonna start planting some of the stuff that we have <clears throat> in the bed that I already dug and in this bed over here that does not need to be dug and then we're going to move these pepper plants out of the walkway because like I said they're drying out plus it's that time of year where I don't want to fight them no more <laughs> it's you know it gets to that point but I do want to keep them and they're starting to flower again and with the temperatures dropping again that's a good thing i'll get another round of of peppers so yeah we'll do this later it's definitely not as bad as the other bed so now i can see why the things grew better over here than they did over on the other side yes yeah, definitely not as bad so all right let's get this party started move back over to Lord, I don't even know what I said I was about to do, y'all. But I, but I got a lot to do, so no chance that I won't have anything to do. So, the uh, Florida Weave system that I loved so much this year and absolutely will be using again next year, we're cutting that out. The tomato suckers that were was over here, like this one is still trying to grow. So I'm not going to get a tomato out of it. I had a really nice one that was growing, but a hornworm came through and was like not this fall <laughs> so we're gonna cut these and this is where um, here and over there is where we're gonna put the peppers uh, to get them out of the Sun I am gonna leave this here <clears throat> for next year I'm not gonna take any of my infrastructure down this year um, I'm just gonna leave it and see you know how well it works because if you're not new here, you know I do everything the easy way. <laughs> At least I try to do everything the easy way. Um, when I first started gardening, I would have taken all of this down. Last year, I took everything down. I don't want to do that this year. So we're going to see what happens. So we're going to put pepper bags over here and put these bags into the walkway. Um, that way when we're walking down the path there won't be anything there to you know have to walk through and and uh hit and hope you don't break 
So we're gonna move these here. The sweet potatoes are coming out of the bed, but we'll just push it back. We got some strawberries growing all through here. We're gonna clean those up too. Um, probably not today, but we're gonna clean those up. We have a few uh, volunteer basil plants that are over here too. We're just gonna leave them um, and we're gonna move those peppers over here. And with the tomatoes that are still growing here, we're gonna cut the string because we need to be able to put the peppers in. And then I'm just gonna use some bamboo stakes to stake these last few. They should be fine, I think. I think. <laughs> Someone asked, do I plant tomatoes for fall? So I wanna point out that I may not have responded to all comments, but I have read them all. I'm going back through them, you know, to love them and stuff, but I've read them all and I appreciate every last one of them. Um, so I don't normally replant tomatoes for fall. This year I tried something new and I used like suckers um, and then I had some that were in the compost pile that just volunteered. So that's what these are. Now next year, yes, I will, what I will do is root some suckers for plants for fall, but I'm not going to like actually plant seeds and try to grow them again. Um, that would be a lot of work to have the garden going and have, for me, just for me, <laughs> and have seedlings going. And I think people have asked, do I work full time? I do. I work a very time demanding full time job as well as doing this. So again, I try to do everything the easiest way as possible to get a good harvest. So when I'm cleaning my garden, I am not a clean as you go type person. Like all of the stuff that I'm pulling out is in the walkways. <laughs> Once I'm done, so listen, even those roots that I pulled out weeks ago, well, Oh my God, I almost walked into that spider again. I gotta knock him down. Um, the roots that I pulled out a little while ago, they still in the walkway too. I normally end up cleaning at the very end. It's, it's very silly, but it's just because I'm so busy trying to get what I need to get done, done. And then I know I can do that later. I didn't know what that was. It was a bird, but I was like, what is that? <laughs> Okay, so we're now going to start moving the peppers just so I can get them out of the walkway as I do all of this work today. Um, the tomatoes, I'm just going to let them hang in the walkway. I'll get them uh, staked before the end of the day. Um, so yeah, let's, let's do that. One of the good things about growing in bags, because I don't have to pull my peppers, and peppers will go right into um, the frost. Like once the frost comes, it's gonna kill them. But you know, our frost is until November, we're in September. So I can keep getting pepper harvest because in my small space, because I don't have a lot of bed space, another reason why I love growing in bags. So we're gonna go ahead and get the peppers moved over here. Um, and then we probably won't have enough space for all of them, but I'm gonna try to move them throughout the garden um, so that they don't get so much sun throughout the day. And so peppers like to touch. People call it like holding hands. Peppers like to hold hands, that's what they say. Um, so this is like a really nice place for them to be because they can touch each other um, and it helps them, um, you know, their, their, their growing environment, they like to touch. So we're doing this for two reasons. <laughs> Get them out of the sun. Also, they can still be in an environment that they like. This is like one of the tomato plants. Like I said, I'm just throwing it into the walkway right now and then I'll come back and stake it with a bamboo stake. So just like that, we moved some peppers and I just looked at it. Both of the tomatoes are beside the T-post. I'm gonna tie them to the T-post. That's what I'm gonna do. Uh, but yeah, we got some peppers moved and we're going to move the rest over here. Um, I think that's what, 10 bags. We definitely have more than 10 bags of t uh, peppers left, but we can put some back here. They are still going to be in the sun, but out of my walkway. I think one of my chickens are about to lay an egg and she is hollering. <laughs> Gotta move the bags into the walkway that are empty because I'm running out of places to walk. <laughs> Whew. 
So I'm taking a break. I'm gonna hydrate a little bit. Cut the marigold flowers off. Um, I got my shirt dirty. Anyway, taking a break. I'm gonna hydrate, cut the marigold flowers off. But I got, Lord, that came through 46 minutes ago. I didn't even see it. <laughs> you can get so engulfed in the garden. Like, I didn't see that text message 40 some minutes ago. Anyway, um, I got all the bags moved around the way I wanted to. And so now when we walk through the middle of the garden, the main walkway, we won't have to fight pepper plants. But I still have my pepper plants. Super excited about that. Um, I figure it may be a good time to answer some of your questions that I haven't gotten to answer. Like, one-on-one -on -one. so I screenshot a lot of them um, I am taking just so you know the buds that are drying for the seeds I'm also gonna take the marigold flowers I'm gonna go ahead and I guess dry them tell me what you do with marigold flowers because people you know keep saying all the things I can do with them like that I should be harvesting them or I know deadheading is one thing you could do to keep them growing excuse me if you are not new here you know i do not i'm not like the follower of all rules in the garden i doubt that i did hit at this plant one time um but i did hear that it is some way you know you could keep it growing but i'm pulling it out anyway so it doesn't matter but tell me what you do with your marigold flowers if you keep them do you use them medicinally like do you i know you can eat them on salads too it smells terrible. <laughs> like, I don't like the smell of marigold. <laughs> but we'll see. Uh, let's see. Lord, my sister sending me her housewarming wish list. <laughs> she moving. Um, all right, let me read up a question and then I'll answer it. Y'all, I got a lot done already. It's a... Uh, I don't know what time it is. Probably like nine-ish. But I got a lot done so far this morning. It, the, the biggest part is going to be me digging through these beds to get these roots out. And then it'll kind of be easy sailing. But I had to do it, you know, pull everything first. I had to take the plunge and do what no one likes to do. And that's pull growing plants. <laughs> All right, let's see. I'm going to see if I can um, get my daughter to, like, clean up the walkways and stuff for me this evening. She always asking to, to buy something. And when she does, she says, I'll help you in the garden if you let me buy it. I'm about to cash in again. <laughs> Y'all have seen me cash in before. But I'm about to cash in again. <laughs> She's still asleep, but when she wake up, I'm gonna I'm cash in. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Whew. Let's see. Let, let's answer a question. Ah, perfect question. Someone said, and it's not a question, it's a comment more than a question. They said, you can overwinter pepper plants, cut them back to one joint, put them in a pot, and put them in a dark area. Water sparingly during winter, they will start to they will start so much faster than younger plants yes yes overwintering is like an awesome idea problem for me is during the winter i do not keep them roots alive <laughs> i don't keep them alive y'all uh, i have definitely tried overwintering i've seen where it works and i think it would work if i did what i should do in the winter also that dark spot thing um the only place I really have is my laundry room, and it's not always dark. <laughs> so, yeah. But it's per. I mean, like, if if you are interested in doing doing it, definitely look it up. I have a video about it. I just didn't keep them alive. <laughs> I mean, I know how to to do it. I just did not. So I think it's a great option overwintering. I just don't. I just don't do it. <laughs> I don't try it anymore because I always just seem to, to kill them. And then, then I got a whole bunch of pepper plants. In, well, I got a whole bunch of dirt in my house for no reason. So, I don't I don't overwent for mine. Alright, let's see. Someone asked, uh, basically, 
why their cucumbers weren't dark green and I did respond to this comment but I mean it could be a few things like I always ask is the plant green like if the leaves of the plant is green chances are you don't need nitrogen nitrogen is what makes the plant green the next thing I ask is like do you have a variety that's supposed to be yellow because <laughs> there are varieties that you know grow different colors and then the next thing I go to is you've probably left it on the plant too long um, once a cucumber has been on the plant for a while um, it starts to turn yellow and that's where I think I showed it in my video last week that's where the plant is starting to oh, it's it's more mature than it should be for eating but you can save uh, the seeds from the cucumber so there's a few things and I never like to diagnose any anything I don't diagnose I give my suggestion because I am very amateur I started in 2020 um, but I'm learning as I go for sure uh, but those are the things that I go to if someone asks about cucumbers that's the second time I had that question this year um, I got an inbox and I was so nervous to say I think you left it too long because I didn't want to be wrong but the person came back well not that I didn't want to be wrong I don't mind being wrong I just don't want to give people bad information um, and the person came back and they said I think I left it you know too long and I was like ah I was gonna say that but I did not want to so those are the three things I go to I, I think I had gotten to the first two for him and then he figured it out so that was cool <laughs> All right, let's see. Someone asked about how I make my basil tea. And so basically, I will do it from fresh basil or from um, dried basil. So basically, I just, honestly, if I do it from fresh basil, I do like uh, crumble it up a little bit and like, you know, maybe rub it in between my hands because I want the oils to kind of come out. I also let it wilt a little bit before I make it. So only like an hour or so if I'm gonna do that um, but then if I do it from dry I have a little teapot that has a strainer in it I just put the dry tea uh, basil leaves into the strainer add some water warm it up let it steep for a little bit once it started to boil and then I drink it um, I add a, sometimes I add honey to it sometimes I add lemon sugar just depending on you know what I want that day that's pretty much how I make all of my teas not just basil because I make thyme tea I make lemon balm tea I make chamomile tea um, uh, most of those are dried right now um, but I'll use it I will make it from dry leaves or fresh leaves someone asked if I think I should keep my soil moist even when there's nothing in it I answered this one too that I, I, yes I absolutely should <laughs> do I not all the time it depends on what's going on in my world um, but before I plant in it, I definitely moisten it or like right after I plant in it, I moisten it. And then of course I keep it moist because I want my plants to grow. But I mean, yeah, you should, I should, we all should, but <laughs> I don't always have time to do that. So you are on the right track. Um, but I think maybe well I know there are a lot of new people here and they'll kind of have to get used to my style of gardening which is I do what I can <laughs> I'm sorry y'all let's let's go to the next question um all right someone said I'm new to your channel have you considered a freeze dryer I definitely have and then I checked the price of it and I was like oh no no I, I can't afford a freeze dryer I think they're really awesome and apparently they keep like the actual nutrients of the uh, vegetable or fruit much better than like um, dehydrating but I, I cannot afford a freeze dryer so yes I have considered it I don't have one and unless I decide to save for one I won't have one <laughs> I'm terrible I'm sorry okay someone asked have I ever tried drying uh, my tomatoes I have dried tomatoes before but I put them in oil um, and didn't do my research before and realized they don't 
they don't last very long and <laughs> you can put them in the refrigerator but like you can't leave them in a cabinet so i didn't actually get to taste them because yeah another thing you'll learn about me if you're new here is i will do stuff before i research it sometimes it works out sometimes it does not <laughs> I'm trying to get better with that though. I'm not I'm not lying. Like I'm trying to get better with that Ex especially for preserving the food. Cuz if you preserve something and then realize you can't use it, so you've grown it. Took your time to grow it. Took your time to preserve it and then can't use it. And again, um I have a a whole anxiety thing. And so I was saying on another vlog like when I was preserving that I was throwing away the things that I preserved last year cuz I'm not sure I did it right. And I'm just not, I don't have that in me to try to eat it anyway. <laughs> so I'm going to get better with, with doing that. But um, I have, I, but I didn't actually get to use them. Do I work full time? I answered that earlier. So yes, I do uh, work full time. Um, am I doing any companion planting? I don't focus on companion planting anymore because I don't have a lot of space. Um, I plant things. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, I try to uh, remediate it. But if they die, they die. <laughs> and then I just try again next year. <laughs> All right, so those are our marigolds. I'm gonna go ahead and harvest these roselle and hope that I'm harvesting them right because I haven't had a chance to actually research it. But I will before I use it. So pretty sure that's what I'm supposed to be using. Ah. I think it's such a cute, like I think it's a pretty plant. Like the way that it grows, it grows like okra. I need my smaller snips, wherever they may be. Hold please. They grow like okra, but I think they're so pretty. I think someone said make sure I remove the flower or something. Um, but I'm gonna use it in tea. Someone did ask, you know, what is, what is roselle? I almost fail <laughs> and how you use it so it's a part of the hibiscus family you use it I'm gonna use it in tea but people have given me several options of how to use this so I'm gonna do it I'm, I'm gonna do it this is my first year growing roselle I'm thinking I'm gonna pull the plants that's in the beds, in the cinder block beds, the roselle plants, because there's three other plants over in uh, the no dig bed over there. Someone also asked about no dig and like what it is. Um, so basically, it's throwing down cardboard on the ground, putting compost or soil on top of it and starting to grow really that's all it is um and you can put you know um fertilizer and stuff in there too but it's literally like they call it no dig because you don't dig the ground you just start to grow over top of it and the cardboard will decompose and then you essentially made your garden bed without digging the area i will say you want to you know like cut the grass down as low as possible um I wouldn't worry about weeds because they're going to come up anyway. I have never worried about weeds. I just make sure the grass is short. Um, and then I started growing. I have no dig throughout the garden. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six no dig spots in the garden. I just like, there was space and I did it and it worked out. <laughs> I'm going to look this up tonight though to see what, how I can use it, what I need to do. Because I do think I'm going to pull these plants out. And just go ahead and get ready for fall. Like, that's it. That That's it. That's all. That's one of the harder things about growing in a smaller space, too, is not wanting to pull things that's doing well. Like, look how pretty that flower is on there. I love the way the flowers look on this. Like, I just like this. I just like roselle plants. I really do. It's so pretty. I will say, too, it has survived just fine like with the low water and all of that and the oh lord i done threw the dirt in the basket <laughs> low water and the fact that this bed was root down this roselle did awesome 
I mean, still looking like an amazing plant that that I just that I just pulled. That's part of getting ready for fall. You gotta pull stuff in order to. It's for the betterment of the next growing season, and I'm getting better with that. I'm getting better with that. I really am because I used to not want to pull things, and it would take me so long just to get out here and do what I was supposed to do. But I saw that the weather is changing, so. So I'm doing it because I'm ready for the fall garden I'm, and I'm also ready to eat some greens, y'all. <laughs> All right, something is just out of the greenhouse. I can hear it buzzing. We're going to go ahead and cut this echinacea down. Um, and then that daisy that died early on in the season. <laughs> We're going to cut that down too. Echinacea will come back every year. So I'm just going to cut this at the, at the uh, base because I want it to come back. But right now, anything that's looking dead, I'm going to cut that up. The uh, sun is coming out. We might have to pick this back up later today. It's what, nine something, I think? It's nine something in the morning. I had to work a little bit today, so yeah, we may have to pick this back up later. And, uh, Daisies will come back too. These are Shasta daisies. So they'll come back. But like I said, for now, we, we cutting them out. And just like that, we've cleared that spot too. Um, I don't know what the sun doing. I ain't staying out here in the sun. <laughs> I, don't want, I don't want to be out here in the sun. We need to cut the trees, but um, it's supposed to rain. I don't cut the trees when it's going to rain because that is a way, from my research, that disease can, you know, take over your tree. So I'm not going to cut those today anyway. Maybe tomorrow because it is definitely supposed to rain at some point today. <sighs> yeah, I think I'm going to take a break. We might not wait until like all the way to this evening, but right now I'm going to take a break. I've gotten a lot done. I've gotten a lot done and I want to be planting this week. So I need to get all of it done because <laughs> I want to be planting. I honestly want to be planting by tomorrow. So um, this day is going to be gardening and work. I'm going to take a break, maybe go work, come back out when, you know, it gets cooler, maybe. I don't know, <laughs> but we'll, we'll keep working. So yeah, I think I'm going to take a break. I did check on the chickens. I got two eggs already this morning. Look how pretty. I love the little blue ones. Um, I got two eggs this morning. I gave them water. I gave them food. The same thing for the quail. They haven't laid anything this morning yet. But I'm going to take a break. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to visit me over on Instagram where I post about the things going on in the garden almost every day. Bye, y'all.